after introduction already will not speak about it you will ask the relative how much you know about your son Ellis then what's your expectation or how much information you have been told about your father, uh, son Ellis then start the scenario laser as you know Mr. Muhammad your son came to emergency room after motor car accident and he was assessed by physicians these physicians include emergency room doctor and intensive care doctor and brain doctor at this time your son he is in unconscious and he is, there is difficulty to press alone we helped him by introducing a plastic tube to help pressing and put him in a machine and we transferred him to, to the radi radiology imaging department and there is an image has been done for him and showed that your son has a massive hemorrhage I am sorry to say that for you then you have to be silent for time then complete your speaking after this image we transferred your son to intensive care unit and also there is a second assessment done by the consultant of, in, uh, of intensive care unit and the brain physician they did a lot for test for him to check his response and check his brain function unfortunately his condition is getting worse and there is no any sign of improvement I am sorry to say that for you at this time the relative will ask you what do you mean by that then complete your speaking we did function of the brain and there is one or uh, one <coughs> organ inside the brain it is called uh, what is one uh, function unit inside the brain it is called brainstem this unit it is uh, uh, its responsibility to do function of breathing heart and movement a lot of center inside the brain is controlled by this area it is called the brain stem death I am sorry to say for you this brain stem death is responsible to regulate everything and if the function of this area has been stopped it will affect the breathing heart beat and blood pressure After brainstem death, this area will not function well, and the brain physician and the intensive care physician did function for this area. Unfortunately, they found that the brain is technically dead. I am sorry to say that for you. Then absorb the patient and wait for his response. After brain stem death, it is, uh, it is not possible for some, someone to remain conscious. And this cell, once it is dead, it will not recover again. I am sorry to say it is mean this irreversible brain damage. Then absorb the patient. Maybe the, the surrogate ask you if, if he is breathing and his heart is beating. How can he did, doctor? Your answer will be, I am sure to say that your son or your father was depend in a machine to do the breathing for him. And his breathing would, uh, will be stopped to function if the machine is disconnected. Also, the heart will stop also after that. So that the lung and the heart of your father 
are maintained on the machine I am sorry to tell you there is bad news as I mentioned for you the brain stem is control everything automatically and once this cell in the brain stem has been died it will not come again or recover again after argument maybe with the relative he will mention for you a lot of question how come doctor he is died I saw him he is still young he didn't have any problem before so that we have to absorb the patient and consider that it's a denial or sense of grave so that we have to stress about most important point at that this patient is technically dead because if you tell the patient I will review my examiner again or I for seek for second opinion it would be a disaster in the exam so that you have to emphasize the patient is technically dead and the brain stem will not come again or function again because once the cell is damaged it will not recover again maybe the patient will ask you what will happen after that what will happen we will stop the machine that helping his lung and emphasize about that stopping the machine is not the cause of die as the patient already technically dead so if we continue the machine is not going to bring him back again one of the important answer is that if you told the patient we will stop the machine you have to emphasize stopping the machine is not the cause of this because the patient is already dead even we continue the machine the patient will not come back again one of the important answer you have to answer it to the patient this is the brain stem this so that a case of a brain stem this you will follow the protocol of breaking bad news one of the important issue you have to emphasize this patient is technically dead and his brain function will not recover again because the cells it is damaged even he is you saw him the breathing his breathing is maintained by machine or his heart is on the monitor but the patient is dependent on the machine and once we disconnect this machine he will his heart and his lung will stop soon and the causing of dying is not to disconnect the patient from the machine because the patient is already dead this is a brain stem this